What is more fascinating than reliving someone else's life? Hello and welcome to Larry Has Opinions. Today I would like to talk about my top five memoirs and autobiographies. Let's just get started. Educated by Tara Westover. Tara grew up in rural Idaho in an ultra-religious family who was pretty much cut off from the rest of society. They did not believe in modern medicine or public education and they were preparing for the end of the world at the end of the millennium. And we witnessed Tara's conflict between trying to remain loyal to her family, to her parents and siblings and sharing in their values, while on the other hand feeling this natural tension towards joining mainstream society and especially her yearning for studying and learning new things. I really loved how she managed to depict her situation with a lot of nuance and without making flawed people into caricatures of themselves, despite how dramatic some of the events described in the story are. Some parts of the book are very harrowing, but her story is incredibly moving and really makes for an engrossing read. Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. What is it like to grow up in apartheid South Africa when you were technically born a crime? The relationship between Trevor's parents, a black woman and a white man, was technically illegal and punishable by imprisonment at the time, hence the title of the book. Trevor Noah is a famous comedian and you might have seen him on television or on YouTube, but before that he was a pretty mischievous child, navigating the challenges of his own identity and an unusual family while having to confront the prejudice of that kind of society. Despite the depth of the themes that are explored in the book, I really, really loved how he managed to inject his sense of humour throughout the story, which makes for a very enjoyable read. Into Thin Air by John Krakauer Krakauer is a journalist with a hobby of climbing, and in 1996 he joins a group climbing Mount Everest. However, unexpected weather and human complacency turn his expedition, as well as some others happening at the same time, into a tragedy of unprecedented scale. We have the privilege of following these events through the eyes of someone who's actually survived that ordeal. What I really loved about this book is the way it makes you feel as if you were really part of the expedition and you were witnessing these events unfolding in front of your eyes. Whether you're into mountaineering yourself, and I'm, I'm very much not, this is really reading like fiction, like a novel. And when you actually think about the fact that these events actually happened in reality, it will definitely send a chill down your spine. Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt. Mostly set in Limerick, McCourt recounts his childhood in what was a very backward island, still stricken by poverty and where the Catholic Church was still calling the shots in large aspects of society. The whole book is told from the perspective of Frank himself, but as a child, which is not something a lot of authors can pull off. With a good dose of Irish vernacular, we're told of all of these tragedies affecting Frank's life, between his alcoholic father and his helpless mother, to the point that this could easily be described as misery porn. However, this Pulitzer Prize winner also, in my opinion, has a lot of humour in it that really kept me engaged throughout the whole story. The Girl with Seven Names by Hyun Zhou Li. What is it like to live in one of the most secretive countries in the world? This is a fascinating insight into the life of someone who grew up and managed to escape from North Korea. We get to witness the challenges of trying to flee a brutal regime, as well as trying to build a new life in a new place. How many times will you need to change your name? And will you ever feel like you belong anywhere? These are the sort of questions that the book masterfully explores. And sometimes you wonder how certain regimes are never overthrown. And I found that the description of the mentality of people living in North Korea was incredibly compelling and made this for an absolutely must read for anyone interested in this sort of narrative. I hope you guys liked this video. Please let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these, if you like them, what you thought about them, or perhaps what your favorite memoir is. And if you want to discuss any of these further, feel free to join our Discord. The link is in the description box. And I'll see you the next time.